Hey guys, welcome to your third JavaScript tutorial. And today we're going to be learning about the what we can do in the header and in the head section and the body section of your uh, HTML document. So this one, this is just going to be one of the first ones I'm going to be doing using the HTML. So um, I'm going to go ahead and this is what we did last time. We did uh, document dot write and write it on the page. So right here we're going to put in the HTML tags and enter and we're gonna put them right here as well so HTML and we're gonna put in our header tags so um, JavaScripts in the head section uh, will be executed when you call them and uh, in the body section they're usually executed while your uh, web browser loads the page uh, JavaScripts in a page will be executed immediately while the page loads into the browser like I just said for the body uh, this is we don't usually always want this so sometimes we want to execute a script when a page loads uh, other times when a user triggers an event or uh, when a user triggers the uh, script to execute so we're gonna do a, a header for a head first so let's go ahead and do a head whoops sorry guys head and in the head tag we're gonna do a little script uh, we're gonna do a um, a function me message and uh, we're gonna leave this but we're gonna take this out and uh, let's just bring this up a bit and under here we're gonna do head so in this one um, and we're gonna need a body as well so um, alright so we're gonna do the body so let's see here we gotta make a body as well so Alright, so body uh, on load e equals in, print, in quotations message, message and put some parameters. So, oh, nope, you need to put parameters in here and then end your quotations and end your tag. And we need to end the body tag, so body and there we go. So in the script, what we need to do is we're going to do function message. So function. Um, space message and then we're gonna do in parameter we're just gonna leave empty parameters go down and put one of these uh, go down again and we're gonna do alert and put in some parameters whoop uh, parameters I did that backwards <laughs> and in your parameters we're just gonna be like okay alert bo box is here so all right um, and so and we always and at the end of parameters we're gonna put a, a semicolon so and then at the end of this we're gonna have to put another one of these um, hold on guys I did that backwards sorry you have to do that one and then you do this one like in your like parameters but uh and then we're gonna end our script so what this does scripts to be executed when they are called or when an event is triggered go to the head section like we just put in so if you place a script in the head section it'll ensure that the script uh, will be loaded before anyone uses it so let's go ahead and do this so we're gonna save it and we're gonna preview this in the browser so run launching Firefox and here we go Oop, there it is alright so you can't really run it but uh this is that's how you that's how you'll do it, but you can't really run it right now. So, well, no, we don't want to quit that. We need that. So this is what it's gonna do. It's in the head section, so it will do it. Um, so let's do a body next. So what we did in the body is we did um, it's basically like a document write. So we don't really need to do that. So the body is what we did last time in the tutorial where we did um. Let's just in between the body tags. So we're gonna do um, I don't know. Let's see. We got we did document dot write and in your parameters we did um uh, whatever uh, I think we did uh, hello world. So we did that in our last uh, tutorial. That's basically what is usually your body. So uh, like we did in the last tutorial without the HTML. That's what we did with our body. So we're not going to do that anymore um, so we're going to have uh, scripts and uh, scripts to be executed when the page loads goes into the body section so if you place the script in your body 
it generates the content of a page so basically that's what it'll do like it we did in our last tutorial uh, you can also place an unlimited number of scripts in your document so you can have scripts in both the body and the header section so um, that's basically all today uh, I did I did show you another script in the body but um, you know I'll just do one real fast so script uh, type equals text slash javascript alright that's what we did that's what we're gonna do and uh, I'm just gonna do that, 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 that. alright and then slash script so that's what it would look like in the body so you can have one in your header and one in your uh, <clears throat> what is it in your body there we go so what okay like what I did before before I started typing in this script onload message what onload does um, I didn't explain it before but uh what onload does and just basically when you when the page loads uh, and you want it to uh, the message will pop up uh, from the alert box so it'll pop up when you want it to uh, not when the page loads like in the body so you have to actually execute the uh, the JavaScript in order for this alert box to pop up so that's basically what that does um, I might do this another time but I might not because uh, usually we don't use the external JavaScript in anything but um, I'm just going to show you an example of an external JavaScript here alright so what we do is let's just get rid of this right here so we don't need this we got a header um, let's end our head too so uh, in our head we'll just put uh, we'll do script type equals text slash java script and end the tag alright well nope that's not it uh, then we're gonna do source src equals in quotations we're gonna do blah uh, blah dang I can't type today blah dot js end your quotation end your tag and then end your script oh, there we go so what this does it's um you have to you have to actually have a file named blah dot js and what it is it's an external javascript file and js is the file ex extension so uh the file external script cannot contain the script tag actually it can but um no, it can't. But in the uh, external script, so this the blah.javascript cannot it, it, uh excuse me guys, cannot contain the script tags. So to use the external script, point to the javascript file in the source attribute of the of uh, the script tag. Um and also remember to place the script exactly where you normally would write the script. So and basically external javascript is if you want to run the same javascript on several pages without having to write the same script every single time on every page that you have on your website so so you can just write an external javascript file and then put it into your uh, one one javascript file and it'll keep doing it for all the pages that you have in your website so that's basically that so alright hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions message me I know this one was probably a little hard to follow so just message me on YouTube uh, and all that stuff so I will see you guys in my next tutorial and trust me the next tutorial will be a lot better so alright guys hope you had fun in this one and I'll see you guys next tutorial